Laura Motos here again to talk to you a little bit more about our evidence-based reporting. In today's episode, I'll break down the language and vocabulary that we use in evidence-based reporting. I'll use visuals and examples, but it is pretty info-heavy, so feel free to rewatch the video as many times as you need. On my screen, you should see a list of the words that we use most commonly with evidence-based reporting. I'll go through these one by one, and you'll see how they relate to each other and how they work together. Let's start with course competencies and learning targets. As seen in this table, the competency defines what the broad, overarching skills are for a course. The learning targets define how a student will master those broad skills through more specific, student-friendly sentences. Depending on the content area, the number of competencies can range from four to eight, and the number of learning targets can range from five to 10. These competencies and learning targets are assessed multiple times throughout the term, but these can still be quite broad. So we use rubrics with success criteria and scaled learning targets so students know exactly what they need to do to demonstrate their proficiency level in one or more skills for a specific assessment. The rubric refers to the entire document provided to the student for an assessment. The scaled learning target refers to the proficiency level students can perform at on an assessed, an assessed skill. That ranges from one to four and translates to attempted, developing, proficient, and advanced. We also use the marks shown to communicate missing and incomplete work. The success criteria provides a clear list of ways students can demonstrate their proficiency level. Let's take a look at an example that we may all be familiar with. For our example, let's pretend we're in a coffee class. In order to brew the perfect cup of coffee, you need to know how to take care of your beans, how to roast your beans, how to grind them, how to brew them, and finally, how to add the appropriate amounts of things like sugar and cream. In our coffee class, we've identified five competencies, bean care, roast, grind, brew, and add-ons. Within each of those would be learning targets, such as I can identify the appropriate grind for the type of brewing method I will be using. Within each of those learning targets, you would have success criteria. Maybe for assessment one, we were brewing using a pour over, and we would wanna make sure that the grind is a medium grind, which would be appropriate for that method. Ensuring that you grind your coffee to a medium coarseness would be the success criteria within that learning target. So now you may be thinking, that's great. I understand the language, but how does this translate to a letter grade? Well, let's take a look. 